How you doing? <laughs> so I was in this coffee shop, eavesdropping on these two hipsters. And, uh, let me say, I'm sorry, I'm not ready for this tonight. <laughs> it's, it's really not that funny. <laughs> um, I gotta be real, I don't wanna break things down, but this is just the way shit works out sometimes. I spent most of my day today at funeral services for a guy that I worked side by side with for 15 years. It's 15 fucking years. 15 years of ups and downs, 15 years of shitty fast food lunches, 15 years of watching desktop baby pictures morph into pictures of young adults. And as they closed that lid today, I realized what little effort it would have took me to just one time say, you are such a fucking asshole. <laughs> I hate your guts. Your wife's a bad whore. And that dude is not your son's roommate. <laughs> but now he's dead and I have to live with regret. <laughs> I find some comfort find some comfort in my Catholic upbringing because my faith tells me that right now he's in a lake of fire <laughs> being repeatedly sodomized by fallen angels with huge cocks. <laughs> <laughs> Which reminds me, I recently went to a gender reveal party. <laughs> I'm not comparing the gender reveal party to demonic ass rape, I'm just saying if I had a choice. So, but I gotta go to this thing because it's my son and his wife's first kid. I'm gonna be a grandfather. That's where you're supposed to go, oh, shock, oh no, no way, you're a grandfather. Yeah, I'm gonna be a grandfather. So I gotta go because all the family's gonna be there. All the grandparents are gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. My daughter-in-law's parents are gonna be there. This other simple bitch is gonna be there. All the grandparents. You said. All right, so I go and I gotta act like it's not fucking stupid, which is great because as soon as I get there, my kid walks up and goes, This is fucking stupid. <laughs> We're an eloquent family. So I'm already pissed at him because I gotta spend the next, I don't know, three to 17 and a half hours listening to this. I think it's a boy. I think it's a girl. Now, it's a, you think it's a boy? Because I think it's a girl. You know, she was carrying heavy before, but now her left tit looks bigger than her right tit, so I'm pretty sure it's a boy. <laughs> Jesus Christ! We spent less time debating whether or not to take grandma off life support. <laughs> and that one went quicker if she didn't keep getting involved. <laughs> I feel better. Yeah, walk towards the light, grandma. I got a fucking car painted to me. <laughs> so I'm just chilling. I'm trying to blend into this thing. Hanging in the back. Picture of my daughter-in-law's female relatives naked. You know, like you do. Like you do. And uh, all of a sudden this kid walks up to me with a pencil and paper. So you think it's gonna be a boy or a girl? I said, yes. <laughs> not trying to be a wise ass, I just don't wanna to commit to anything. I don't know what this kid's gonna be like. 16 year old boy, I don't know, I'm gonna go with 16 year old boy, cause I'm woke as shit, I don't wanna be sexist. 16 year old girl sitting in her bedroom, listening to that broad that sings in the sit down old commercials late at night. She found this list of people who wanted to be born in different ways. She's cleaning a gun that she stole from a Puerto Rican grandfather's house. I don't want anything to do with that. But we'll take her to Uncle Steve's though. Fuck Uncle Steve. So, anyway, the big moment arrives. They open the box, these blue balloons pop up. It's a boy, everybody's congratulating each other like they got something to do with it. <laughs> and I just, you know, just when I had my moment. Like, the kids come up to me, they call me grandpa. I'm terrible in the situation. So they're hugging me. They look at me for a response. I'm like, wait the fuck. <laughs> it's basically what we're doing, right? <laughs> Meanwhile, this guy is in the bathroom. <laughs> Joe, Joe, I stand right there. Joe, I stand right there when I call that shit. Heard me. Heard me say I said a boy, right? I said a boy. Oh, oh, 
chill out, Mr. Dumbass. <laughs> you call it the fucking coin flip. <laughs> come here, come over here, come here. Try it again. How's your tails? What is it? He said hats. Tails, you're fucking stupid again. Now go over there. <laughs> to be totally honest, he was right. But if I would have told him that, the douchebag would have thought he had special powers for the next three months. <laughs> I'm Jimmy McKee. Thanks for making my dream come true. Have a good night.